We've hit the sixth month of the year, but game projects continue to hit Kickstarter. We've sorted through them all and found the very best to share. But just before we do, let's see how last month's games fared in the funding game. First up, crazy ambitious MMORPG Chronicles of Illyria raised a whopping 1.3 million. Niche amassed 72k, a figure almost five times its target goal. The other three games all got funded as well, with all three just scraping by. Both Suma and In the Shadows managed to get 1k more than their target goals, whilst Insomnia raised 58k to top its 55k goal. Now to this month's games. First up is Zed. Coming from Chuck Carter, the artist behind Miss Famous Environments, Zed lets you explore the beautiful mind of a fading dreamer. Throughout the surreal and diverse dreamscapes, mementos of the dreamer's past are waiting to be uncovered. Piece them together and you can help the dreamer say goodbye to someone that they'll tragically never meet. However, arriving at that point won't be so easy. The dreamer is aware that you're invading their consciousness, and whilst they may choose to help you, they may also choose to hinder your advancement with obstacles. Gorgeous yet mysterious, Zed appears to be a classic adventure full of exploration and puzzle solving. The legend of Fable lives on in Fable Fortunes. On April 29, Microsoft shut down Fable developer Lionhead Studios. At the time, they were working on a car game known as Fable Fortunes. Now reformed as Flaming Fowl Studios, they're trying to keep the game alive via Kickstarter. Fable Fortunes is a Fable-themed digital card game in which you collect cards, build a deck, and then face off against opponents. The battlefield and easy deployment of heroes looks a hell of a lot like Hearthstone, but Fortunes brings some key innovations to the genre. The morality system from Fable is implemented into the cards which can turn good or evil, and fundamentally change their abilities. There's also a co-op mode letting you team up with a mate. Evidently polished and with experience devs behind it, Fable Fortunes looks the goods, but with a bit over a week to get 200,000 more pounds, Fortunes will struggle to get funded. Being isolated on a mysterious planet has never looked as beautiful as it does in Transmission. Crashed on this planet, you, the orange astronaut, have no memory of your life. Exploring the secrets of this new world, however, will trigger flashbacks revealing your past. In terms of influence, Transmission seems to echo the 2D Zeldas, just with the addition of a sci-fi vibe. For a more recent comparison, it doesn't look too dissimilar from Hyperlight Drifter either. Fighting is made tough by clever enemies and diversified by a range of weapons. The world is vast and interactive, begging for you to explore it, and all the stuff you find can be crafted into new equipment and weapons. We said it at the start, but Transmission's hand-illustrated art is something to behold. It genuinely looks like your character is traversing through a landscape painting. With just under three weeks to go, this beautiful thing is 60k away from materialising. Saurian is an open-world video game intent on providing the most captivating prehistoric experience yet developed. Living the life of a dinosaur from hatchling to adult, surviving in their natural... Live your childhood dream of becoming a dinosaur in Saurian. There have been a few dino games over the years, from Jurassic Park game adaptions to last year's Ark. The focus has mostly been on hunting or capturing these prehistoric creatures. Saurian is about being a dinosaur. There are four species to choose from, a T-Rex, Triceratops, a Dacoraptor, and a Pachycephalosaurus. For each dino, the aim is the same, survive. You'll have to hunt prey, avoid predators, and manage stamina and hunger in a fiercely competitive ecosystem. What's more is the game is grounded in an impressive degree of scientific rigour. From skin texture to locomotion speed to turning ratio, each and every detail is accurate to today's scientific knowledge of dinosaurs. 
With only a few days to go on its Kickstarter, Saurian is already funded and ready to come alive in January. To Will, the gates whispered of adventure, but in the village of Rinoka, everyone screamed about gold. There once was a boy named Will. By daylight he was a shopkeeper. Come nightfall he turned into the Reaper, putting an end to all who meant ill. This is the tale of Moonlighter, our choice for best Kickstarter game of June 2016. The game is an action RPG, composed of two parts, shopkeeping and dungeon exploring. Basically, you fight monsters, take their loot, sell it at your shop and then get upgrades with all the gold. The dungeon parts are very reminiscent of the classic Zeldas and the Binding of Isaac, a true and tested formula. What really excites us is the tactics of shopkeeping. Different customers have different needs, and some will even try to shoplift. We haven't said one bit about it yet, but we have to give a huge shout out to Moonlighter's art. It manages to be cute, charming and cool all at once, and pretty much sells the game all by itself. The good news is that Moonlighter has already been funded and is absolutely smashing its stretch goals. We'll be seeing Moonlighter in March next year. That's the video guys, thanks for watching, my name's Lawrence. And my name's Josh, we'll see you next time here on Indie Former.